Sunday fun day. I love this shoe. Just finished studying for KSV number nine. We got two more to go after this one. Knocking these KSVs out, y'all. I can't wait to be done. I'm so tired. But almost there. We're almost there. Hey everybody, it is Saturday night. I just watched everybody get all cute and go out because tomorrow is Sunday and that means we have an off day. So we've completed another week of training. This ended our third week pretty much of training. We had seven tests this week. It was long, it was intense. We lost two people at the beginning of the week and everybody else made it through. So they deserve to go out and relax and have a good time. Um, I told y'all before, I'm a homebody, so I don't want to go out. But I did sit at the bar and have maybe a cocktail or two. <laughs> but let's talk about how this day went. And I know this isn't really how I lay down and talk to y'all. I usually sit, but I'm just, I'm so tired. So the day started off with a KSV. We went to class at 2.30 p.m. We had KSV number nine. Um, it was over. <laughs> Genuinely do not know what that KSV was about. Um, but anyways, I passed with the 90. <laughs> Yay! I told y'all I did not come here to fail, right? Take me, take my word for it. I'm passing everything. Um, but yeah, did that and then we did, oh, and then we had our MSV as well today. We had our, MS, our fifth MSV over fire, which we learned yesterday and then we did the MSV on it today. I passed that on my first try. Yay, that one was actually very simple. We, um, had to don the PBE, protective breathing equipment, um, and show them that we knew how to use a Halon fire extinguisher correctly. That was the first part of the MSV. And the other part was um, stimu simulating a cabin fire. So we got on there. They said, okay, smoke is coming from this section of the plane. Um, put out the fire. So that was easy enough. Um, and then we did more simulator drills for the K the two KSVs that we'll be having on Monday. So we did unplanned evacuations today on the two planes that we've learned on so far. Well, actually, those are going to be the only two planes that we're really learning because the other plane is exactly like one of the planes that we're learning. There's a few different tweaks, so we don't actually really learn that one in training, um, which is still kind of weird to me, but whatever. So we did unplanned evacuations, ditchings, and land evacuations. Ditchings are water um, evacuations, basically. So we had to learn how to do a ditching on the E-190, and then a ditching on the A320, and then we learned a ditching on the, I mean, sorry. And then we learned a land evacuation on the E190, and then a land evacuation on the E, on the A320. Um, and they're all pretty similar, just, um, I think like I've told y'all before, the two planes just have um, different configurations, different settings, different panels, and things like that. Um, doors operate differently. So we just had to make sure that we understood how to do that. And oh, and then also commands of evacuations. We learned those as well today and kind of went over those. Um, for the most part, I think they're definitely easy to remember. Um, the commands here 
or just pretty straightforward like whatever it is, is that we're asking for is basically what we're saying I was talking to some of the other girls that have worked for previous airlines and they were like these commands are very simple and straight to the point um, they're struggling with just getting their old commands out of their head and learning these new ones um, the only struggle I really had today was because we were bouncing back and forth between the two different planes and landing and ditching um, I kind of just kept getting them confused because like literally we go from this one minute and then, then the next minute we were doing this so just trying to get my mind clear of one thing and then doing another thing was kind of getting me tongue-tied but I'll definitely practice it tomorrow um, and I'll be good for the test um, the steps to it aren't aren't hard at all, so that was good. But that's I'm pretty sure every airline does that. Um, I hope <laughs> every airline does unplanned and ditching evacuation, so you can know what you have to do and yell at your customers if you know in the case of any emergency. So that was pretty much what my day consisted of today. It was it was another good day. I love these truly interactive days we did have a little ilt today um but that was easy it was easy enough and then we played a little game that kind of got the commands in our head and things like that and then we went down to the sims so it was a long day though to well 2 30 to about 11 15 yeah, 11.15 or 11.30, so it was just a later day, I should say, because that's really about the same amount of hours that we do on a regular day. It was just late, but I think y'all know I'm not studying. I don't study at night. Y'all know that. Um, I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm in my bed. I'm not leaving my room no more. All the little fun people done left, so I'll probably just catch up on some of my TV shows and then probably go for a run or something in the morning I don't feel like I worked out enough this week it's just been so long but I'm just extremely happy I've made it through the third week um, which some say can be the toughest week and I've made it through y'all made it through so next week you know is the final stretch and then I'll be doing my finals. Well, what we we don't really have a, a major final here, but we do our IOE flight, and then we'll do our emergency evacuation MSV, which is like the final thing that they um, grade us on. And then I'm done. I can't believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe that it's almost to the end. Today is, y'all never know, I, I don't ever know what the date is. I think it's like the 15th or something. So we have like 10 days left or it might be the 16th. Whatever Saturday is, <laughs> that's today. It's Saturday. So I'm almost done. I'm almost in my home, like the home stretch. Just got to complete it. Just hold on tight. My mommy called me today. She's like, are you good? You're almost done. You're holding on. You haven't failed any tests or anything. And I'm like, no, I'm. I'm doing good I'm, I'm doing good so just truly just one more week of constant class um, and learning and pounding things into my brain and then then we're good I'm good so I still need a crash pad by the way um, I've been trying to do my research on New York and I definitely know that I want to stay in Queens because um, that's where the airport is, um, Kennedy Airport, um, JFK. So I've been calling around and things like that, but um, with crash pad owners, you know, they kind of want you to come out and see the crash pad and talk to you, like interview you and who, who got time for that? I'm in Orlando trying to get my wings so I can even need, you know, have the need to be in a crash pad. Um, and then just at the same time, you know, I don't... I'm exhausted. I don't want to call these people all day and find out if this crash pad owner is crazy or if this is a decent crash pad. Can I live here long term or can I only stay 10 or 9 days? Like, it's so much to consider with crash pads. So, I didn't think I was going to be one of those people that was holding on to 
the end of training to really buckle down and find a crash pad, but that really might be me. <laughs> and my poor friend that we're trying to live together, we're trying to find a semi-private room, she's freaking out, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. So she sends me crash pads all day, so hopefully we can buckle down and middle of next week lock something in for sure um because there's no doubt in my mind that i'm graduating and i'm gonna have those wings and i'm gonna need a crash pad for jfk so if you do know something like please seriously leave it in the comment box below fun day fun day i love this shoe look at that heel oh my god Out of the prison. Yeah, they let us out of prison. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. Excuse my laziness, but I totally thought that I recorded um, a video earlier and I didn't. I just kept getting caught up doing other things. So, it is now. 1 11 a.m. Monday morning. Um, yesterday was Sunday fun day. So I just took some time to relax and have a little me time. Like I think I told you I had not left the lodge, the hotel that we're staying in since I got here June 28th. And it is now July 16th or something like that. 17th. So I wanted to go get my eyebrows done, got my, I got a pedicure because I was just, I just wasn't really feeling too cute and, you know, I've just been so focused on my studies and making sure that I was passing. So I just decided to take the day and get an instant facelift. That, that's what I always say, like when you get your eyebrows cleaned up in a little art, just like an instant facelift. And I'm um, just a little pedicure and walked around the mall a little, little bit today. So that was nice. Um, came back and um, studied for our two MSVs. And I actually studied with a different crew, a different group of people tonight. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling my normal study group. I feel like everybody is kind of getting down to this last week and... We're honestly just all tired and worn out. Um, the constant studying, the intensity of this training program, you can really definitely tell that it's starting to wear on everybody. People are kind of getting a little snappy. Um, and people, including myself, um, you know, just kind of getting a little over other people's personalities that you you know you've been brushing off in the past but now it's just getting to the point where you're like oh my god you know when am I going to be able to get away from this person and just just those small little things so I was actually heading up to my room to just go study by myself and um I ran into another group most people from the AM class and y'all know I told y'all I don't usually like to study with people from AM because it can honestly just be a big confusion because their instructors tell them one thing and ours tell us another and then we try to combine it and it's just a, a mess. But <clears throat> I just went ahead and studied with them and it was actually really good. It was refreshing to have a different set of eyes while you're doing certain things and um, I, don't, I mean, of course, everybody's going to give you their opinion when you're practicing and doing your MSVs because that's what you want. You want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. But, you know, it was just it was just nice. That's all I can really say. It was just nice to do things with other people for once. So, and not that I don't love my study group. I really do. But sometimes you just need a break. You just got to get away. And so I, I went away to another group. I cheated on my study group. <laughs> um... But yeah, I mean, I feel good about the MSVs tomorrow. There's some things that are just really hard to practice when you're not on the actual plane or the simulators. Um, we're doing two MSVs tomorrow, an uh, unplanned land evacuation and an unplanned ditching. Ditching meaning water. 
um, but one will be on the E190 plane and one will be on the A320 plane. So just trying to act them out without actually having the planes is kind of difficult because we're trying to do it without missing any steps. But there's certain things that you'll know that you'll need to do only when you, for me, when I actually see them. So like if I'm on the plane, then I'll know that I need to press this button instead of this button. And just like little simple things like that. So, but I feel good about it. Um, and we have class early tomorrow too. That's why I'm like, oh my God, I completely forgot to record a video. I had to hurry up and pull out my camera. That's why I didn't even like get out from under the sheets. Um, we have class at 9.15 tomorrow. I'm not even sure exactly what we're doing. I don't know why it's so early. Like, we usually don't go to class until after midday, 12 p.m. and later. So, I have to get up early, so I'm going to have to just go ahead and get some rest. But, um, I'll definitely let y'all know how the MSVs go. I'm looking forward to this week being over. Um, today's Sunday. I got my IOE flight scheduled for this Saturday. Um, I can't remember what IOE stands for, but basically it's like a part of my final. And this flight, so I did the observation flight last week. What was that this week? I did the observation flight sometime while I've been here. <clears throat> and that one we just sat on the plane as a customer and just observed. For the IOE flight, we actually put on our uniforms. We'll shadow one of the in-flight crew members on the first leg and then on the leg back we actually work the flight so that's exciting um we'll be evaluated it's it's a test to make sure that we're ready and then we also have our final eme which is just like a bigger version of a msv emergency evacuation basically motor skills to make sure that we're doing everything right but that when you're paired up with two other people from your class so hopefully we'll find out who those people are early in the week so then we can start studying and practicing all the, the the scenarios that they could throw at us. And then we have ditching on Tuesday, the water ditching. So I know how to swim, I'm fine with it, but just they were kind of showing us some of the things that we actually have to do to pass that evaluation. Um, and part of it is, you know, bundling up with other people and... I don't really care for other people in the water bundling up on me. Like, if they can't swim and things like that, and then they start freaking out, they could just be a whole ordeal. So, hopefully that all works out well, too. But, yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. Um, I almost forgot about y'all, but I didn't, because I love y'all. So, good night. Oh, and don't mind my retainer. I didn't feel like getting up and taking that out, either. <laughs> good night, y'all.